Okay, it's time for another autopilot accuracy test on our test course on Lake Ann. Uh, actually, North Shore Drive, sorry, Lake Ann. And this is the last one on this, this version of the software because I'm getting an update tonight, as you can see. And I think I'm almost positive it has updates to the autopilot software. So here we go on our test course. And actually, we've never done this in the rain. Looks like it's going to rain, but it's not now. We'll see if we can engage it on this section because, you know, in this section, it, it's very finicky and most of the time does not allow me to engage autopilot. It's got me no gray lines, it's black. Yeah, I remember. Oh, it's letting me do it. But I'm going to have to turn it off because there's a red light. And we'll see how soon it'll let me engage after this light turns. You don't get too many red lights here. It's a, it's a sharp curve, almost a turn here to the right. And it has trouble picking back up, determining where the lines are. Let's see if you can do it before this corner. Almost, almost. I saw it pop in gray for a second. So it might be learning a little bit. There's somebody on my tail. I want to see. It's probably going to be after this corner that we can engage it. It's all confused right now, as you can see. Okay, there we go. Now we're ready to go. And there is someone behind me. It's acting a little bit nervous here, and let's see how it does here. It lost it. It's confused with the bike lane. That bike lane is a challenge, but it's, it seems it's, it's doing better. It's doing okay here. Better than it has in many instances. If you've watched my other ones, previous videos, they're all numbered, so you can go back and look in chronological order. And I'm hoping that when I get this new update that we'll see a huge improvement here, but we'll, that remains to be seen. It's doing really well here. I think that overall it has learned and gotten better over time. If you watch these videos, you'll see it's just got more data. Not only me, but probably other Tesla drivers are coming down this road. It learns not just when one vehicle does something, but when one vehicle does something, the whole fleet learns, not just that one vehicle. At least that's the way it should work anyway. I don't know if it's exactly working like that right now. It will in the future. But anyway, that was a pretty good run. So look forward to my next one with uh, new software.